are decently into this vlog and I'm just now starting to talk to the camera. So what you guys witnessed was everything that has happened before lunch. So this is a, a one day vlog experience, a day in the life of NaNoWriMo writing with a puppy. So this is Yue, you guys may have seen her in my last video and if you haven't, be sure to check out my last video, it will be linked down below. She is a miniature American Shepherd and um, she's very distracting. So for NaNoWriMo, I'm working on a contemporary novel. Right now I am about 9,000 words into it. It is, I think like November 4th or 5th or something like that. So I'm doing pretty good. Um, so what you guys witnessed today was uh, I don't start writing until about 8 a.m. even though I start the day much sooner than that. So when it comes to having a puppy, I have to not only feed her and put her out multiple times, but I also just tend to spend the morning wearing her out. So I play with her. I try to get her to play fetch, but she doesn't quite get it yet. She has to be in the mood for it. Um, but basically, the goal is to uh, exhaust her as much as possible. And trust me, when she wakes up, she is very, very energetic. And then um, I also use like a little puzzle toy for her to eat her breakfast, so she kind of has to work for it more. She's extremely smart. She has escaped two different like playpen situations and finally we have a playpen that's four feet tall that she can't climb over so she's a smart little puppy uh, she's getting at the hang of a few tricks so yeah so so far today I feel I'm feeling really good for NaNoWriMo so yesterday I didn't get a lot written I only got a, about a thousand words done and that's because I had two different video calls I had some tech issues when I got around to like cover design stuff and I really only had time to write for about mm, maybe an hour and a half. So my ideal day starts by, or, or I should say my ideal day during NaNoWriMo because I want to write more during NaNoWriMo than I do regularly so my ideal day starts by feeding her, playing with her, maybe doing a little bit of training with her and playing and once she's worn out I will move into writing. So then I spend basically the rest of the morning writing. She usually is my trusty companion and just sleeps right next to me as I do the writing and then I will either work out before I start writing or after I'm done writing right before lunch. So right now we both just ate lunch. She eats three times a day right now just because she's a puppy. Um, I too eat probably more than three times a day but we're not going to discuss that. Um, so we're at the stage of she's in full awake mode. She has had her lunch. She's been playing. This is, I consider it this her pacifier because She's only had it for a week and she's already destroyed half of it. Um, but it keeps her quiet, so that's all that matters. So this morning, my goal was to write 2,500 words. That's kind of my daily goal during the week. I write during the week so I can have the weekends off. Because I work full time for myself now, I have the luxury of only writing during the week and then being all hands off on the weekends. So I usually spend the mornings on my stuff, being my writing, and then I spend the afternoon on my cover design clients and making sure that I'm all caught up with them or answering emails or blah, blah, blah. And also know that because I do have a puppy that that schedule can be all over the place. So this morning, instead of writing the 2,500 words, I actually got really lucky, lucky because I hit the zone, I wrote 3,500 words. And frankly, I wanted to keep writing, but I know I have a lot of stuff to do today because I'm just now kind of figuring out how to work with her. Um, and she's also like trained just enough that I can get her to calm down so I can actually focus on my work. Because let me tell you, the first week with her was was fun, but it was very rough because she has some, you know, as all puppies, some separation issues where she just screams bloody murder. Um, so we're getting a little bit better with that. 
But she's also trained enough that I can have her next to me and not worry about any accidents right now. Um, that doesn't mean that she's fully potty trained, but it means she's potty trained enough. So what we're going to do for this afternoon is I'm going to take her outside, get her to run around a bit, run off some of the energy that she has. Then we're going to come inside, do some training, and that includes some crate training to get her more used to her playpen. She's actually pretty well crate trained for the crate she sleeps in at night, but she still hates her playpen, which is what I put her in when I'm in the office because the office has wires and a carpet, and if she's not chewing on the wires, she's literally chewing on the carpet. How a dog can chew on a carpet that's like not an area rug, I'm not really sure, but she manages to do it. So for that reason, she's not allowed in the office at this time. Um, so we're gonna do some playpen crate training, and then I'm gonna leave her in there, and I'm actually gonna get some work done. Um, and then later, we are going to be restocking some stickers for the book launch planner and packaging an order or two that have come in. Will I actually get all that done before my husband gets home for dinner? Probably not. But we will see what happens. She usually ends up taking a lot more of my time than I think. Um, for those of you who are curious and are like, oh my god, I want a puppy, uh, just consider like at least four hours of your day gone. So if you thought you didn't have a lot of time before, wait until you have a puppy. Um, granted, I'm doing some pretty, like, I train her maybe at minimum two times a day, but my goal is three times a day. Like every time I go to feed her, I try to train her, but during the week it's a little bit harder because I have a, a schedule. But yeah, so she's a smart dog. <laughs> she's very smart, so if she, you don't train her, she definitely gets into trouble. And then I also wanted to show off, because you might have seen clips of it earlier, I discovered this new planner that I've been using personally and for my business and I wanted to show it off to you guys because I've fallen in love with it so far. So it's called Silk and Sonder and they send you a new planner every month. So it's a monthly, so it's basically like this little monthly booklet and they like to use the same style that the bullet journals do and a lot of them are pre-filled out templates. So they have mood trackers, habit trackers, they have monthly spreads, and recipes, and um, you can track all sorts of different things. And it changes every month, so you never get bored with it. The first part of the planner changes every month, and then the second part of the planner um, is like your standard weekly spread, and it's like half set up for you so that like the bare bones are there and then you can bullet journal the rest of it to fit your needs completely. So that's what I love about it so much is that some of the templates are there and then they give you blank pages so you can fill out your own templates. So for me, I created a word count tracker for NaNoWriMo and I'm loving it and I added some of the stickers that I designed for NaNoWriMo in there, which you guys can purchase still. It'll be linked down below. Um, but if you wanna check them out, I do have an affiliate link if you would like to explore a little bit more. Um, they send you a new planner every month. You can either prepay or you can do a monthly subscription style sort of deal. But I highly recommend it. I really enjoyed it because I'm the type of person who's always loved bullet journals, but I just didn't have the patience to sit down and make the templates for myself every month or every week. So it's really nice that it's already there and then my job is just to make it colorful and pretty. So on that note, let's get this little one playing outside if she's willing to give up her little pacifier. Mm -hmm.
what happens when I try to work in the office and someone's in her playpen. <laughs> So that is a wrap for today. So I completed my writing. I got about halfway through my cover design clients and then I got too hungry to focus. So I figured I would come down here and restock some stickers, which I restocked some of them, not all of them. I had some issues with my Cricut machine and don't have the mental capacity to deal with that today. And then I fulfilled whatever orders I had on the book launch planner. And now that I'm done that, it is like late-ish, it's like maybe 5.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and go make dinner and um, go cuddle with my puppy that is howling and crying bloody murder because it's been like at least an hour since someone's given her a hug. <laughs>